All right, everybody, we're back on here live from Indianapolis. We're at FDIC 2009. Appreciate you guys tuning in all day. I know it's been a long, busy day, but the programming's been fun. We've had tons of fun things up here today. Lots of good vendors and a lot of good stuff to watch. Uh, you know, to cap off the day, we wanted to bring in somebody that uh, we all know uh, the product so well. So we can learn a little bit more about what they've got out there. So uh, I'm fortunate enough to have with me today the founder of Turtle Plastics, Tom Norton, who the uh, you know has the wonderful product line of Turtle Tile. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're going to go over some of the stuff that we have here. So, Tom, thank you for coming in. Really appreciate seeing you. Thanks for having me. Uh, what have you brought with us? Well, we've got a couple new things here. First of all, we appreciate your uh, fire medic having us on here and all the wonderful products you buy from us. It's a great relationship. Uh, one of the new products we have is our standard good old comfort, uh, good old compartment matting, which everybody loves. Uh, it holds brackets and clips and things like that. But they don't like it so well when they go to clean because the mat kind of disassembles itself. So we've just developed a brand new, what we call an easy mat, and uh, all you have to do is get your uh, new apparatus uh, company to send the dimensions in, and uh, we will actually cut every single one of these pieces at the factory, and then we put them together with stainless steel staples. So you're saying that Turtle Tile will custom build these for your compartment to where we eliminate the rolling and the twisting that's happened over the years that we all know so well. Absolutely. So now you have a one-piece mat. It makes it very, very easy to uh, to put into the, the trucks and that. Fantastic. How many colors do those come in, Tom? They come in 14 colors. This is, uh, of course, red, white, and blue, but you can get any color you want, practically, uh, including black, of course. Now, and, if everybody uh, can't see this from where we're at right now, we've got an example of a red, white, and blue compartment here. I'm assuming, Tom, that we can get all 14 colors on an order if we wanted to, Absolutely, correct? absolutely. We have a rainbow of colors if you like that. That, that sounds good. I'm sure there's somebody out there that would order a multiple set of colors. What else do we well, have? By the way, these are all made out of recycled material, uh, automobile trim. So they're earth friendly. Trim, absolutely, and they're made in the United States. Excellent. Made in the USA is always, always a major thing. It sure uh, is. What else do we have here? Okay, the second thing is uh, a, a lifting bag uh, system. Uh, we've had this for a long time. This is our, our bag pad, and it's designed to go underneath your lifting bag, so it protects the bag from a piece of st glass that might be under it, a sharp stone. You're talking whatever. heavy lifting bags, airbags. Any for, kind uh, of airbags. Any sort of rescue airbag. Yeah, light bags, heavy bags, any of the different bags. Because two things. First of all, these bags cost a lot of money. So really sure do. It. Secondly, sure do. The last thing you want when you're doing a lift is for the bag to collapse when somebody's on it. So these have always been a very important thing, but now we're dealing with the top of the bag. And underneath that car, or truck, or whatever, is a tremendous amount of garbage. You know, Tom, it's, it's interesting that you bring that up. For so many years, we focused on getting ourselves a nice, stable environment below the lifting bag. Absolutely. But, of course, there's sharp protrusions and all sorts of things that could potentially puncture an airbag, correct? In fact, they're guaranteed up there. Right. One thing underneath, you don't know, but up, up, up underneath the truck, it's a landmine of, right. of stuff up there. Well, and we've also... We've had a compromised vehicle at this point. Now that, in itself, is going to give you all sorts of issues that could pop an airbag. So what did you guys do to come well, we, up with a solution? We've got a brand new product here that's called a top bag pad. And the unique part about this one is it's made out of flexible rubber. You can see how we can bend it. Yep. And so what happens under the enormous pressure that's coming up from that lifting bag is it begins to conform to the underside of the vehicle, no matter what it is. So it'll contour a little bit. Exactly. It'll contour. It's not going to, as a result, because it gives, it's not going to break or snap or anything like that. And again, you don't have to worry about anything puncturing. And this, feels, this feels heavy duty. I mean, oh, it's it not is. certainly too heavy to lift, but it feels like it could uh, take a beating. I mean, is this made of the same materials? No, this is rubber. Okay. And the other material is polyethylene, which is uh, milk bottle, detergent, shampoo, grocery Everybody bag. get that, the difference. Polyethylene versus rubber. Yeah, exactly. And you also notice that the bottom of the bag, the part, I mean, the bottom of the pad that's going to touch the bag has all these heavy duty dimples. And if you look at the average lifting bag, that's exactly the pattern that it has. So they sort of mate, and it means that it sticks to it. So we're not going to slip off the top of that lifting bag when we go ahead and we add this on there. Gotcha. And nice, gotcha. nice long handles so you don't have to lift it and stick your hands. Handles are good. I'll Everybody knows in the cold weather and in the snow, we can drop something very easily. So, Tom, that's an excellent product. What else do you have? Okay, this is a little bit uh, off uh, the, the normal stuff that we do, uh, at least the part we're going to really talk about, but it's something kind of neat that's important to all of us. Uh, about three or four years ago, we brought out a really neat sprinkler wedge. It's also a door wedge. 
and as you know, the guys carry them in their hat bands. I was say, you see these are a lot of helmets. Absolutely. And you see them shove them together. Of course, the sprinkler rod back up, and now the water shuts off when they're, they're done with it. And they can also use it as a handy uh, door wedge. To so somebody came up to us at a show three or four years ago and said, would you be willing to make these in pink? And I said, pink? Can you imagine a fireman wearing pink things in his helmet? I think I know where you're going with this, though. There are a lot of pink items out there that, you know, nowadays, and they're all in support of one thing. What is it, Tom? Absolutely. It's supporting breast cancer research, and it obviously touches all of us directly or indirectly. And today, uh, at this trade show, uh, come over to our booth. Uh, the ladies from the Indianapolis Cancer Society are here, and they're selling these uh, sprinkler wedge, door wedge, whatever you call it. They're $1.99, and one dollar of that goes to cancer research. Okay, so Tom, you're saying more than half of the proceeds of these wedges that you're manufacturing are going to cancer an research. excellent cause. Absolutely. This is a cause, ladies and gentlemen, that has personally affected me. This is something that I would love to see supported, and I don't think from any major sports team to any firefighter that you're going to have somebody that would be anywhere against wearing one of these wedges. Now, if you don't want to put it in your helmet, at least get one to go ahead and support the American Cancer Society and Breast Cancer Research, and uh, and you're certainly you know doing your part. Remember, more than half the proceeds go to uh, breast cancer research. So. The other thing departments can consider too is that we will sell them this wedge. Normally, we don't sell except through wonderful distributors like you guys. But in this case, we will sell them this wedge for 99 cents. So at their musters and their other groups, they can sell them and benefit their local cancer research a dollar a piece. What this means to you folks is local distribution. You can actually help support the cause twice over by making an initial purchase and by reselling these wedges. They're an excellent cause. I would suggest getting them. We're getting talked over by the, uh, by the woman. Hope you guys can still hear us. Maybe you can. I don't know, Tom. Can you hear us? I hope so. And last year, by the way, the Cancer Society raised $900 here at the FDIC, so it shows there's a lot of potential out there to raise some money, and you get a useful thing. It isn't like you're just throwing your money away. Well, what's interesting is when that woman was just talking, I was actually giving all of you my credit card numbers and social security numbers, but I don't <laughs> think anybody got it at that point. Uh, all right, so, you know, the one thing I'm noticing about these, they're actually pretty neat. They've got ridges on them. I mean, it looks like uh, they're not just a slippery piece of plastic. Uh, I'm pretty impressed by those. I know that as a fireman myself, I wear one in my helmet, um, only it's manufactured out of old cruddy wood, so I think this is something that would probably last a little bit longer. Absolutely. Is there any sort of warranty on these products? Uh, you know, that's a the, the thing I'm getting at with that, yeah, well, the reason I'm getting at this, folks, a warranty that you're going to find on a product like this is not going to make a difference when you have a product that's going to last as long as you are. All right, if you're going to go out and get yourself some turtle tile, you know it's going to last based on the fact that it's made out of recycled plastics, recycled rubbers, forever. So when you go out and you look into a system like this, you're making an investment up front, Tom, and we're going to go ahead and keep that investment long past the duration of the piece that it's put on. Well, what we're hoping they'll do is shove this in the sprinkler head to shut the water up and then go home. Yeah. And then they'll buy some more. And then they have to buy some more and support breast cancer research. That's a really good observation. Absolutely. You know. well, listen, I've got this thing here that uh, I'm afraid is going to fall on my foot. Yeah, you don't uh, want that to happen. What are, what are we looking at here? Uh, this is our latest uh, piece of cribbing. Uh, this is what we call profile cribbing. In other words, instead of a step chalk, it's actually a 6 by 7 size. Yeah. And nobody has ever had anything this large. Our standard ones have been 4 by 4. And everybody said, that's ridiculous. Where am I going to put this on my truck? You know, I can't carry it. It's only 20 pounds. But some of these guys... It doesn't seem that heavy to me. It just seems heavy duty. I mean, it's, that's, it is. that's it what is. I found with turtle tile. It's and, heavy duty. And the idea is that if you've got an SUV or an F-150, forget about school buses and all that stuff, but just common stuff that you run into, the frame on those things is so high that if you have to use 4 by 4s to get up there, you're talking 18 4 by 4s and you have to do that at all four corners. So in the meantime, the guy's in there hurt. You want to get him out in the 15 minutes that you've been allotted. And in the meantime, you're out there playing around with little tiny tinker toys. So this brute right here goes up really quick. It doesn't do anything different than our regular ones, except fast. And we're just going to use less of them. You're going to use less of them. And it's designed to be either Lincoln Log like this, and of course Lincoln Log is great, but it has to be at 90 degrees. So if you can't be at 90, because the car's wrapped around the pole or it's halfway in the ditch, you turn it on its side, and it's got a sharp pyramid right here that will lock together. Uh, I see. These are these are the dimples similar to that airbag retention device there. Absolutely. These are going to lock with each other, and they're going to allow this not to shift. So it's all about stability, folks. I mean, it's, it's what we're looking for when we're using cribbing in the first place. Something new on this and all the cribbing now is a 50-year warranty. 50 it's years? Rot, mildew, splitting, any of that stuff. There's my warranty question coming back at us. 
They're going to lose it before this, they warranty. You'll be out of the fire business long before this ever expires on you. So, I mean, that, that's a phenomenal warranty, Tom.